Welcome back. So I actually just, uh, I picked up a while ago a air filtration system from WEN and I've kind of just been setting it on things to work and try to help out. So now it's time to uh, go over it and get it mounted on the ceiling. Um, after much deliberation of where I wanted to put it, they say the long wall, but the way my shop set up and where I'm at, it doesn't make sense with the door being behind me here or behind the camera there. Um, so I'm actually going to set it over here in the corner where I do most of the cutting. I think that's going to do the best job of filtering where I work and uh, pulling out that dust that's kicked up. Um, I use a shop vac with a you know dust collector on it or a spin down into a bucket to help with the big stuff. But it's the, the small stuff that they worry about. So let's go over it and let's get it hung up in the shop. So this is the unit itself. It's a three speed remote controlled unit that, uh, so once it's up in the air, I don't have to worry about pushing button to turn it on, but if you wanted to, you can. You have the options right here, high, low, mid, and you can set it for a timer of one to four hours, or when you kick it on, it'll just keep running. So I kind of just run it. I turn the timer on when I'm done and let it run for an extra hour. So that way the dust that's still lingering gets pulled in. So you have the outside filter here and then an inside filter. So it goes down to pretty tight, uh, pretty small microns to collect that dust. I'm gonna mount it right here in the ceiling. It's gonna hang down below this so it shouldn't impede the airflow because it's going to be the high side where it's going to blow out it's going to be that way as you can see i got my saws and stuff over here this is typically where i do all of my wood cutting uh, i don't do a lot of it so i don't have you know a huge system quite yet one day i'd like to get there but we're gonna go ahead and get that mounted up right there and see how it looks so the first thing we got to do is remove these uh these bolts here this is actually going to be where the provided hardware goes in. So let's pop those off. So it comes with the hooks and then you have a nut that you put on it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to Put each one at about a half an inch up. I'll measure them out and get them all set. Then once you have them set to where you want it, all you gotta do is uh, thread them in, and then you'll that wash that nut's gonna keep the pressure on it so nothing moves. It should move anyway because it's gonna be mounted. But let's go ahead and get that where you want it. They also provide you with um, chains. It's got a little round ring on the one end and a hook on the other. And they also provide the hooks, the eye hooks for putting into the joist. What I'll do is I'll pre drill them and get these uh, sank into the floor joist. I measured the hooks on the unit itself and they're a foot apart. Um, this distance doesn't really matter because they're on chain so if they're a little off it's just going to be you know off to the sides. So I'm going to keep it 10 inches off of the beam to give it a make sure I'm not too close to it. Um, and then I'll mark, so I'll mark 10 over here. That'll be the first mark that'll be the first set and then a foot after that
Now let's get our eye. We're going to go ahead and get our eye hooks in there. All right. So I think I'm better off putting the hooks up here first. And then we'll raise that other part and just slip these rings on. Now, I don't have a very tall ceiling, so it's gonna hang down a little bit, but oh well. Now, it's not super heavy, heavy, but I'd probably recommend if you had a friend, give you a hand. Uh, I'm flying solo today, so we're just gonna use all our strength. And luckily, it's not too high, and get this hooked up. Well, I measured it, and between the hooks on both things, I don't like how low it's sitting. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to grab, I kind of measured out that 10 chain links down. This will fit in there. I'm just going to wrap them and hook it back in itself. All right, I got the chain, got the chains wrapped around. It's like there, so you can see now, it's still below there, but it's giving me another couple inches underneath. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't have an outlet over here yet. So what I'm gonna doing is, I have outlets there for the light. And I also have an outlet there for the lights so uh, i'm not an electrician so i have an electrician friend i'll have him come and run an outlet over to this side so i can plug it in for now i'm probably just gonna use a small extension cord um but yeah that's it uh so far when i've been using it sitting on things it's been working great so i'm bet you this is going to be even better because the dust is going to kick up and this is going to pick it up from the air better than where I was before. So thanks for watching. As we go through, I'll show you what I'm doing with the shop. And uh, I got some plumbing things coming up, so stay tuned.